And as far as the tug test, girl, it is secure. Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm back for another video and guess what? It is another segment of Take It or Leave It. Hair edition. And today, we're going to be taking or leaving a brand new product. The product that we have today is for wig application. I'm trying to find something inexpensive, something accessible, and something really good and it's a plus if it's black owned. And this is another black owned product. So we're gonna be comparing our got to be the tried and true got to be high insta hold fast drying spray um on instagram we have this product right here this is the wig dealer luxury hair care melting spray with humidity resistance so actually my esthetician shout out to alia womack at christian michael aesthetics here in Atlanta, you wanna be waxed like a dolphin, go check her out, I'll leave her links down below. I want to compare these two and try them out and figure out which one is gonna be best for us. What we're going to do today is apply a wig, okay? Now it's gonna be a wig that I've already reviewed before. One side, we're gonna have the got to be glued spray, and the other side, we're gonna have the wig dealer. Bet, bet. Wow, she looks like she's been through a lot. <laughs> Follow me camera. We're gonna go ahead and apply this wig. Now y'all know I'm that girl that preps my base real easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't be playing games with the girls. So I'm just gonna <clears throat> do as I do and plop this on my head. Wow, this wig cap is busted, okay? Even though I don't do the ball cap method, I like to try and make sure this stays down so i'm gonna do one side oh i'm gonna regret this because got to be glued is the devil on your hair i'm gonna let that dry right there on this side i would love to see how this sprays out oh oh it's cold Ooh. from first smell these have almost like very similar smells they're both like lightly perfumey but nothing overwhelming which is great so i'm gonna do a second coat because i did the same thing on the other side we're matching and i'm just gonna let that marinate into the hair i'm just gonna put a little bit right there in the center so while that dries i'm gonna go ahead and remove some of this makeup now this is a new thing i've been doing because I've noticed that the wear time on my wigs decreases dramatically when I do not remove the makeup that's on my forehead. The wig cap, she's on there. She's not moving. So now for applying our wig, our favorite part. So if you did want to see a review on this wig in particular, I'll go ahead and leave a card up above and I'll leave a link down below. So let's go ahead and put on Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> Why am I sweating? So we're just gonna plop on the wig and I like to figure out where I'm gonna place this wig. Ooh, it's just so cute. And now we're gonna get into wig application. So we're gonna start with our tried and true, the got to be glued high insta hold spray. What I'll do is spray it. And then we'll go ahead and get into applying it to the foreheads. This side's gonna be the got to be glued spray and this side's gonna be the wig dealer. So we take our brush, dip it in. I just lightly press it. So we're just gonna work in sections so y'all can kind of see where I laid the product. Cover as much ground as possible, girl, because it needs to stick. Now the product is gonna run, but when it runs, that's when it gets shiny and I just, ugh. So we're trying to let this dry as I apply, but I do about two coats of the product. So, and we're laying and I'm melting. Okay, now we're gonna work down the head. If you wear wigs, you already know the worst area to apply a wig. So I like to brush into the hair. That's why I ain't got no hair over here. <laughs> I noticed when I apply it to the hair, there's less lifting in this area. Adding some extra product. Now I feel comfortable to apply. 
I needed to tint this lace because it's giving reflection tees, but not on the side, like it looks fine. When I do my tug test, she is secure. That side is done, now we need to do the other side. I'm gonna spray this directly on my forehead because the directions specifically tell you exactly how to apply it into working sections. Now it also says to use a blow dryer. Think about got to be glued sprays that it doesn't give you directions because it's not used for wigs, it's for hair gonna spray oh I did too much I did too much I did too much okay so I need to not spray so close I'm gonna take the blow dryer and I'm going to blow dry on cool oh it did already dry wait this thing dried fast it dried much faster than I thought oh I like it already oh okay she's still giving you shine Okay, this is not gonna work. So I sprayed it directly to the lace. I'm gonna see what happens. Okay. Y'all, this is, this is sitting. This sprays, it sprays like. So you have to be careful. So I'm gonna take the blow dryer. Okay, make sure I brush it into the hair. This is definitely tight. Okay, I'm gonna try something on this side since I did it on this side. Okay, so we're just gonna let that dry a little bit. Both sides are down. Let me do the tug test. Y'all don't pay attention to this. We're gonna fix this later. Now this is, whoo, this wig is not going anywhere as far as the hold the hold feels the same i need to wrap up these edges for about 15 to 20 minutes so so i'm gonna take my rapid strips i love these strips i'm gonna tie it pretty tight i'll show y'all what it looks like after melting okay we're back supposed to be 15 to 20 minutes but girl's been 30 i had to have lunch i was hungry let's go ahead and take off and reveal what this looks like oh my god this is so hard to take off okay so this is what it looks like after molding and allowing the product to sit so this is the got to be glued side and then this is the wig dealer side. I have a little lifting right here, but I don't think I laid this down correctly. So I like to take whatever my contour is and I like to put it on my lace. I'm going to lay down these baby hairs with a got to be glued gel. This is the in Invincible Styling Gel. I don't use the sprays to lay down my baby hair. If y'all do that, please let me know about down below. Look at this hair this is what the wig is looking like in the finished look my initial thoughts about the comparison between these two products is they feel the same to me right now they feel the same this one definitely has like a softer I feel like it has like a softer hold on the hair the got to be glued side is much harder than the wig dealer size but it has the same hold on the lace I realized that the wig dealer spray has a much stronger scent and it's a scent that lingers with you a little bit longer i actually do like how they both feel and as far as the tug test girl it is secure on both sides i want to wear this wig and see how long it's going to hold up we're gonna sleep in her we're gonna see how long this lasts so right now it is 5 17. i am gonna check in with you all throughout the day to let you know how this wig is feeling on my head. So we're gonna proceed with our daily activities. So I'll be checking in with you all a little bit later. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what this wig looks like in regular daylight. Go outside. Okay, so this side is the wig dealer side and this side is the got to be glued side. So I oversprayed both sides, but this side has like this whitish, sort of residue on my forehead this side i oversprayed more it actually spilled down into my 
makeup, but my make I wiped it off, some of it, and it's still intact. It's still shiny up here, but it's shiny on both sides. In daylight, I like the wig dealer side better. It's a little shiny right there. Okay, lace, just telling all my business. I am leaving the house. I'm trying to get outside so I can expose this hair to the elements, but Atlanta ain't shit. We was warm almost up to the 80s last, was it last week or the week before last? Bitch is cold, <laughs> it's annoying. So I'm just trying to get out into the elements and see what this wig stuff gonna do. It's 58 degrees today. And right now it's about 7.45, but I'm driving over to the grocery store to see if I can pick up some stuff for dinner. And then I'm coming back home. That's the best I could do for getting out of the house. Girl, it's Sunday. Let's just make it over to the store and see what else we can get into. Girl, I just realized I got dimples. Let me get off this. Okay, so I'm in the store, store lighting. I'm at, I don't know if the girls can see, but can y'all see? Good. Okay, so we ran out of Beyond Meat, so I'm gonna use these sausages for my pasta today. Ooh, wine. Oh, there's wine. There is wine. So I'm not sure what type of wine to get. Mm, hot. Oh, I'm starting to sweat. Oh, girl, I'm nervous because all these people are looking at me. Nobody's looking at me. There's nobody on the side. Does anybody else's mask make them hot? Like, I am hot. You hear me? Love this stuff. Get into it at least. This is my favorite pasta sauce. This is the garlic alfredo sauce with avocado oil. It's not super good, but it's good to be like a base. It's the end of the night and I need to shower. I'm in my closet right now. We get to see how this wig, this spray withstands humidity. Cause I'm back from the grocery store and I wanna see how it withstands humidity and being in the shower. Let's get into the shower. Relax at the end of the night, girl. I'm tired. So it is the next morning, and I wanted to show y'all what my wig looks like now. When I sleep, I wear these headbands. Let me show y'all what it looks like. 1031 right now. This side is the wig dealer side, and this side is the got to be side. So from like first glance, the wig dealer is winning for like overnight. So this is the wig dealer side. The lace ain't lacing, but okay. On this side, this is the got to be side. But it looks, it still looks good. It's not, actually not bad, but I just have a little bit more ashiness right here. Now that could be how I applied my wig too, but, and I'll show you in different lighting. Okay, so this is what it looks like outside. I have some lifting on the, wig dealer side right here and I have lifting on this side as well I just hit it with my fingernail so it was lifting a little bit but now it's lifting more so both sides are lifting around the ear tabs that's what it looks like now this part I didn't apply well on both sides so it's a lifting there it's also lifting on this side but not as bad so this side did better with lifting on the ear tabs but this one's also like not tucked behind my ear right, but there is lifting on both sides. Okay, so right now it is 7.20. So we've officially had on this wig for over 24 hours. Slept in it, ran some errands in it. And this is what it's looking like. This is the got to be glued side and this is the wig dealer side. This is what they look like. Nothing much has changed since the last time I showed you what the wig looks like. I like how the wig dealer side looks the most. Now, we're about to go to the gym. Last test. I have so many of these headband wig headbands that I don't even, I can use these to work out. So this is just pure cotton, but we're gonna go ahead and use this to protect our hairline and stop the sweat from running down my face. I have a hair tie. Oh, in my purse, I need to find a hair tie. We're just gonna put the hair in I'm gonna put the hair in a ponytail. And make it extra hot with this sweatband. Okay, let's go to the gym. I think we're all set. Oh, I'm 
nervous. I'm here with no makeup right after my workout so right now it is 8 36 and i did a 14 minute and 44 second look at look at the angel numbers a 14 minute and 44 second workout if you wear wigs you already know if you work out in your wig and you wear a headband you have to wait till it dries to make sure it settles in and then like re-sticks and reapplies so let's take it off on here and see. Oh, that's sticky. Oh, we still have a hairline, people. Tug test. Okay, so both sides are still applied, and I, I was sweating a good amount. Like you saw the sweat, I was sweating. Wasn't quite dripping sweat, but I was a good 15 minute workout. This side is the got to be glued side, and this side is the wig dealer side. Okay, so this is what the hairline looks like. So y'all remember where the wig was lifting earlier today? It reapplied back down. She's flat again. So after sweating and working out, this area is not as lifted. I can see the little bit of ashiness here and there's some ashiness right here. But as far as like application, they're very similar, like very, 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 similar like in the light in different lighting i liked how this one looked it didn't give as much reflection i like how this side looked better when i looked in different lighting it didn't give me as much flashback and it also didn't create as much ash and shine and when it didn't it did it was easy to wipe off i found that on this side with the got to be glued it applied very well i mean it's tried and true it works that's the reason why people use it it gave me like that little bit of white cast and my biggest challenge with got to be glued spray is that getting that stuff off your skin and your hair mama ma'am they're very very similar I could go with either one of these but so far I feel like wig dealer is my favorite but the last thing that we need to do is take off the wig because this is on there. I take off my wigs the same exact way. Let me actually show y'all what I do. So we have like a washcloth here. This is like an old towel. This is what I use for my hairline, not a washcloth that I like. I will take a cloth. I'll dip it in water or I'll run water over it. We're going to take off the got to be glued side first. Ooh. So this is how I usually take off my wigs. I press it, cause I don't like getting my whole face wet. Let me bring this ponytail up front because I feel like it's cute. <laughs> Let me try and be cute. So we're just gonna press, press, press. How do y'all take off your wigs? Because for me, this is how I do it. And I have to pay special attention to the ear tabs because I put a little in my hair to make sure the ear tabs stay down a little bit longer. So to make sure I don't rip my hair out. See, oh, I'm about to rip my hair out. Okay, so we got the got to be glued side. It came up fairly easy. Now let's go ahead and do the wig dealer side. Just a few taps on it made it come up. So the wig dealer side, we're gonna just Ooh, do the same thing and just press into the hairline. My background is looking cute. <laughs> okay, so this is a, oh, stubborn. 
There we go. Ooh. And as far as the wig cap, that slides right off. The excess on my forehead, we're gonna let this dry and I wanna see how my hair feels. Oh my God, our hair is dried down and now I wanna see how this product affects my natural hair. Let's see. So this side is the got to be glued side. We know it is rough. Ooh, the hair is, it's stuck. It's stuck to the head. So on this side, let's see what we get. Much softer on the hair. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. Ooh, that hurt, hurt. So I'm getting through, ooh, this is stuck. Okay, so they're definitely like little flakes between like the hair they're both very similar but this side has fully softened and this side after working through it it's still really hard it's still really hard to get my fingers through and it feels rough on this side and this side is soft like it's fine between these two products i would prefer this product but i would keep this one on hand i personally would prefer this one because they're about the same but i like how this one looks after application on the skin it's easier to remove the only thing is that it does have a fragrance the fragrance doesn't bother me i just like how this applied just a tad bit better than how this applied there's not a huge difference and i also like how I was able to remove the product and my hair is soft on this side. The reason why I like this product is because it's a black owned brand and I would prefer to support a black owned brand that is for us and by us. I'm not gonna lie. I just, the got to be glued spray, the pluses are it holds very well, it's tried and true, it's accessible and it's affordable. The only big difference with this one is that it gives a little bit more of a white cast and um it's not for us and by us so <laughs> i ain't gonna lie to you my choice is this one i'm not sure what you guys would choose but i would definitely continue to buy the got to be glued spray and have it on hand but i would just pick this one up i would use it for special occasions but if i'm just throwing on a wig for the family to come by i just throw this or for a zoom meeting I use this right here. I'm not going to use my, my good stuff. Anyway, y'all let me know what you think down below. What you see on camera may be really different from what I experience in person. So y'all let me know what you think, what you prefer. So I'll leave a link for both products down below if you'd like to try them out. Shout out to my esthetician for recommending this spray. Thank you so much, girly. Love you so much, Aaliyah. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.